I want to make you aware that uh, I am going to transition from the leadership of the PhD program as of July 1, 2023. I am here with the person who will be following me, Dr. Courtney Buggs, will be the new director of the PhD program in African American Preaching and Sacred Rhetoric as of July 1. So I know that's news, so let me back up and give you, you know, the backstory. And the backstory is, uh, I say to people, though I look young, I probably look 47, I'm really 68. And that means when you're 68, you're really thinking about retirement and transitions and how to transition well. So because I believe that we should plan for our succession, we implemented a plan that will allow me to step down from the leadership of the PhD program. Uh, as of July 1, I will not retire until December 31, 2025, but I'm stepping down now because we were able to receive from the Lilly Endowment Incorporated a grant of a million dollars for a compelling preaching initiative. I like to create things, and if you look at my history, I started at New Faith Baptist Church when I came out of seminary. The church was very small, and it was rented facilities, it was 35 people, and the Lord blessed us to do an amazing work there, and I was there for 18 years, so we, we created the ministry, we got it up and going, and it was stable, successful, doing well, and something in my spirit, as, as I look back across the years, I like to create things. And once things are up and running and successful and stable, I like to create something else. So I left New Faith and went to Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church in Memphis, Tennessee, where a tremendous amount of creativity was exhibited in that place. And we went through some storms and some ups and some downs, some tough times. But one things, once things got stable and successful and were moving and were positioned, so that the successor, uh, just like at New Faith, the successor could be tremendously successful, who happened to be um, Pastor Trinell Felder, and at Mississippi Boulevard, Pastor J. Lawrence Turner. So things were set, so I could go on and create, some, create something else, which effectively became the PhD program. So I left Mississippi Boulevard, we created a PhD program. I've been at the director for 10 years. We've been working at it, sweating at it. We got 26 PhD students. We got three cohorts. It's dynamic, it's moving, it's up and running. And when the COMPEL, the opportunity for the COMPEL, uh, Compelling Preaching Initiative came up, ah, I can create again. Okay, so uh, if I'm gonna retire, I, this is kind of my last creative act, though my wife doesn't believe a word of that, but this is my last, last creative act is to generate this program. I'll tell you more about that later. It's called the Compelling Preaching Initiative, and I can't do both the Compelling Preaching Initiative and the PhD program, so I will still be connected to the PhD program. I will still advise students in the PhD program. I will still teach in the PhD program. I will simply be working at the direction of the Reverend Dr. Courtney Buggs, and I will follow her leadership as she takes the PhD program to the next level. And what we're after is sustainability and going to the next level. I'm excited uh, for many reasons. First of all, uh, we believe in the power of African-American women in our program, and we believe that um, a person's gifts should make room for, for themselves. And you know, so we didn't just necessarily want a male successor, but I am so excited that because she had the gifts, and because she has the gifts, I am being succeeded by an African-American woman. That's just so fantastic to me. I'm excited about it. Secondly, I think thirdly, somewhere in that line, I also think that um, if we do it well, the program can live outside of the person who God used to vision the program. That if this program, upon my retiring, or upon me being hit by a bus, anything like that, uh, if the program would die, then all, it would seem to me that all this work is in vain. It's been a tremendous amount of work. A lot of people have done a tremendous amount of work to make this happen. And so I am just absolutely confident that Dr. Bugs will take things to the next level and the, and the program will be sustainable and live on for generations and generations. 
And that is, and Jesus had a phrase and he said, even greater things than these shall you do. <laughs> he told that to us, you remember in the Bible, that's what I say to Dr. Courtney Bugs, even greater things than this shall you do. Mm -hmm.